In our institution, we had a person who studied antibody production that was neutralizing antibody. And I remember saying, I, I think this should be a diagnostic test. And of course, the biggest challenge was how can you do a neutralizing antibody test in large numbers? So that's where a partnership with ABB starts to make this a reality. First, looking into the, the laboratory process, how UTMB is performing the test today manually, then looking into the possible solution to bring it into automation. In order to do that, we needed to build a virtual solution that we were reviewing with UTMB and ABB engineers on a weekly basis, updating, changing, troubleshooting, and then defining what was going to be the solution that was going to be implemented finally. You know, robots are really good at doing narrow tasks repetitively and consistently. And importantly, they can't get sick. So when doing this assay in particular, we wanted to do two things. We wanted to have high volume, so we gotta be consistent, we gotta be fast. We wanted to be safe. We're leading with COVID and new variants of COVID and maybe even other diseases beyond COVID. We didn't want to expose our lab professionals to working with that virus if we didn't have to. So now we can have one person kind of man this entire workflow while the robots take the risk. So we have two arm robots that do things like unscrew a sample and load a sample. And then a liquid handler, which is a robot whose arms are basically pipette tips. It can pick up and move fluid around. And it does complicated stuff that would take a person many steps to do. And it does it all in a consistent workflow. Here we're doing racks and racks of samples going into plates and plates and plates of liquid handling. And what this means is that we can process a batch of 11 to even 20 samples at a time. And that's in parallel. So we can do 500 to 1,000 a day and even grow up from there. This is the most powerful indication of immunity. Better than whether you've been vaccinated better than an antibody level, and better than just a T-cell repertoire test. I need to mention that UTMB has, of course, is in the forefront of research, is in the forefront of a study of infectious diseases, and this was the first piece, together with ABB engineering, but also the capability of engineering of UTMB. So in the future, we will see robots and people working together in the same environment in a research or in a clinical lab and uh, supporting the operations in the best possible way. I'm still stunned by the reality of it all. This is the biggest experience of teamwork that I've been through in 35 years of working in this business.